At this moment, I'm pretty excited. My controller for my CNC plasma table is finally functional. It took me a while to realize GFIs, GFCIs do not like 48 volt power supply slash controllers. I thought I had some really some wiring screwed up. I was kind of starting to worry. But here's the sound the thing makes when it's running like it's supposed to. Throwing the power on. That's a 48 volt. The heat sink. The green light's telling me that things are happy. When there's a fault, the red light comes on. I just hit the emergency stop. Reset. Came back like it's supposed to. So that, uh, you got the auxiliary power like you have on the back of the computer box. I got it running on my test, my trouble light, so I knew that it was working. Right here, I'm going to shut the sound off. It's a little quieter. But my 120 volt comes in here comes out, I switch colors, and goes down into here, switches colors. This red one, which is your line, feeds a uh, temperature sensor that's stuck to the aluminum on the front of the enclosure and is pushed up underneath the controller. It actually trips the power off if there's an over temp sensing. So that's kind of a safety feature that I really like. You can't see it. You see one of the black wires that are going to the back, that's it. On the front side, I got this little magnet here that's actually holding the temperature uh, circuit breaker against the body of the machine. So using glue, I just used a, ma a powerful magnet. Anyways, your, your powers come in here. There's three, there's three, your, your line, neutral, and ground. Your 120 volt are on these end. These seven here, or six, are, are different, are all negatives and positive 48 volts. See this fat wire here, and this fat wire here. That actually comes around and behind, comes up here, feeds the splitter. This little, little jewel is amazing. I think sure takes a lot of headaches out of it. All sorts of places to, for future relay tie-ins. It's going to be handy as heck. It really helps keep things clean. But uh, one last chore. i got to put my um, shielded armored cable ground on. It goes and ties down here on one of the feet of the, of the fan or the 48 volt power supply. It just dissipates any surface voltage that could screw with the, the controller. But otherwise, for my first go, I'm pretty happy. The wiring, uh, yeah, there's probably some things I could do to clean up, but I'm pretty happy so far. One of the things that I did find annoying was the auxiliary power, your fuse, and your power switch. They all use different size male stabs. So I'm going through my junk drawer trying to find small and large I thought they were all the same size, but they're different sizes. So if you're going to put one of these together, make sure you get different size female stabs for the for the wires. But I uh, decided to just use the same color. I got white here. This is on a black line, but you'll see they're both black. And it goes over here and it turns white again. That's just to keep them separate. I thought it, was, I mean, it made no sense to me having two different colors. Anyways, that's what we've got so far, and this is one big step that I have been putting off. Thanks for listening.